I have just really been struggling to, to get this screw in here. Sorry, y'all. Let me. But after I've been working on it for so long, I realized that it's just not really a good fit. And that reminds me of the Browns with Odell Beckham Jr. Man, I remember when this trade first went down. I was like, oh my goodness, this is big, this is huge, and it was, it was, and I was like, oh man, this makes the Browns that much better, it makes them that much more competitive, it makes them that much stronger, like you got Juice on one side, who is a beast, he is, that is a, like, the, the, the way that Jarvis Landry is, he is such a high quality wide receiver, man, and then you, I'm like, you add Odell Beckham Jr. to that, what? Oh, man, these he, he boys about to do something serious, man. And that, and I really had thought that. And they, they did good for a little bit, a, a tiny bit. It was real quick and it was real short, but they did. And then it just, stuff just started slowly falling apart. And it seemed as if it just, it just wasn't working. It just wasn't working out. And they could never really meet the expectations. And it's like, man, when you have two, like, when you got one really good wide receiver, that's one thing. But then you have two, and, and then the way that the, the Browns would construct these rosters, it would be like, oh, man, this is, this is going to be good for the AFC North. But they just, they could not get it together. They couldn't. And it's all slowly led up to this. Now, let, let's read, the, uh, let's read the, the actual statement directly from the Browns. Let's we'll see what they said. After careful consideration, internal discussions, and conversations with Odell and his representation, we've determined that it is in the best interest of all parties involved that Odell no longer play for the Cleveland Browns. We appreciate all his efforts and contributions while in Cleveland, but we've just reached a point where it is best that we move forward as a team without Odell. We are finalizing the process of granting Odell his release, and we wish him all, uh, or we wish him well as he continues his career. Mm. And that's all she wrote. Now, I don't think not one person is surprised by this move. Ever since the video came out, ever since Pops uploaded the video, even though there have been a lot of people that feel like it was really Odell Beckham Jr. that uploaded the video. Because they were like, really? You think, you think Pops know how to screen record? And then on top of screen record, like maybe Odell uploaded it sideways like that uh, just so we would think that it was his dad that did it. Who knows? We'll never know. But ever since that day where Odell's dad where uh, LeBron James um, and some other people chimed in and they were sort of doing Odell Beckham Jr.'s dirty work for him. When, when they were letting it be known for him, like, hey, Odell, he got to get out of there. Odell, free Odell, hashtag free OBJ. Y'all going to really get to see his talent if, if he moves somewhere else. Get him out of Cleveland. But well, even though it was coming from other people's mouths, it was coming from other people's accounts, we knew uh, where that originated at. We knew who it originated with. And that was, of course, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Now, with Odell Beckham Jr., he had to be careful, though, because we know that his name um, has certainly been tarnished over the years in the NFL. Man, one of the, my favorite videos ever and comparisons ever with Odell Beckham Jr., when people would call him when he was on the Giants, people would say, oh, he's a diva. He's a diva. When they would say this and that about Odell and be like, oh, man, he's throwing a temper tantrum on the sideline. He, this is how he acts when they lose? What? Man, what a baby. What a crybaby. Oh, man. He's, what, what, what's that about? What's the overreaction about? But then they did a vi somebody made a video comparison side by side, Odell Beckham Jr. and Tom Brady, and they were having the same expressions on the sideline, throwing the helmet down, yelling, upset, aggravated because they were losing. Now, with Tom Brady, he got the pass. Because it was like, oh, no, oh, Tom Brady, oh, that's Tom Brady. Oh, j j just because he won all them championships, which he has, he, he gets a pass to act like that on the sideline. But Odell, since he hasn't won anything, that he don't get a pass. Now, wouldn't, that, w wouldn't it actually work in reverse? Wouldn't somebody be more upset when they're losing if they haven't ever won a championship? That's what I would think. As opposed to somebody who's won all the championships before, wouldn't they be less upset when they're losing? Because, oh, man, I got all these championships already. I got it already. So that was something that with Odell Beckham Jr., that's one of the things where his, his name has been already been drugged through the mud. It's already been there. But now if, if he were to speak out, this is why it was very important with Odell Beckham Jr. that he not say anything, especially why? 
because it could be conduct detrimental to the team. If Odell speaks out, if he acts up, then Browns can get some of that money back. So it was very important. It was very the business strategy right here. Smart business strategy by Odell Beckham Jr. and all of his friends. Because if he said one word, especially given his reputation, he wouldn't have been able to keep his money. A lot lot of his money would have been sent right back, return to sender. Browns would have got a lot of it back. But anyway, speaking of money, so again, smart way that that Odell Beckham Jr. and them handle it. But speaking of money, the Browns, they... Reworked his contract. See, this this is where the Browns were like, mm, you're not about to sting us. Because the way the contract was before, and we still waiting on more details and specifics about it, but the way that the contract was before, Browns could have got okie doked and he could have went to a competitor. It would have been easier for him to go to a competitor. Why? Because if he was released with the way that his contract was before, his cap hit higher, a lot of teams would have been like, oh, we want Odell. We, 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 we want some Odell Beckham Jr. We want him on our team. But then they would have looked at that cap hit and like, oh, this is a part of the season where we ain't really got that much money. We'll let him clear waivers. So 30 teams would have looked at Odell Beckham Jr. and saw that cap hit and be like, oh, no, nah, we straight. And I say 30 teams because there's 32 teams in the league, but two of them are the Browns and the Giants. And, you know, yeah. Anyway, so 30 teams would have looked at Odell Beckham Jr. and be like, mm, no, nah, we're good. And he would have cleared waivers and they would have been like, all right, Browns, they can take on the rest of his salary. Because if, if, if the a player is released and he clears waivers, then the Browns, whatever team he was on, they got to eat that. They got to eat that salary. So now the Browns have re, reconstructed his contract in a way to lower his salary cap hit. So what does this do? This helps the Browns in the, the now and in the future as well. Reason being, because if he's cut... And he clears waivers, which now it doesn't look like he will. Before, it looked like it was a high chance he could. But if, he, if he's cut and he clears waivers, all right. Browns, they, they, they eat his salary, but they, con- they reconfigured it and whatnot to where his salary cap is lower. But that lower salary cap figure makes him more appealing to anybody looking to pick him up. So now he's more affordable. So now, and remember, the way that the waiver wire works, if a team, or teams with the worst record... They have top dibs on Odell Beckham Jr. So that works in the Browns' favor because they like that. You know they thinking like, mm, man, this dude Odell Beckham Jr., his daddy, when the, he got the video and all that and all them hashtags that he put in his Instagram. Then Le, we got LeBron James. LeBron James, are on. he tur- he turning his back on us. That, Cleveland Brown like, man, LeBron, go be a Cowboys fan again. You, you can't dibble and dabble in both teams, man. Because sometimes LeBron, he'll, he'll be a Cowboys fan, then he'll be a Browns fan, and then he'll be a Rams fan. Just like LeBron, you got to stick with one of us, man. Go with them other two team. We tired of you. Uh, but anyway, and, and the Cowboys and Rams, they're doing much better anyway. But anyway, the uh, I'm sure the Browns are like, man, they, and we even got him turning on us. And we know how much people in the city of Cleveland look up to LeBron James. Like, Oh, man, come on now. Don't do that. So they're feeling betrayed. But they're like, you know what? Even though we're feeling betrayed, we're not going to let them get over on us. We're not going to let Odell. We're going to try our best not to let Odell get over on us. So... With Odell Beckham Jr., now since he's more affordable, those teams, the, the, the bottom tier teams, the teams with the bad records at the bottom, they can afford him. And they can, if they feel like, you know what, we want Odell Beckham Jr., they can put in a claim for him. And with his contract being affordable now, he can go to a really bad team. So Browns could be like, ah, yeah, okay, we ain't got to worry about him now. So that, that works in their favor. That would work in their favor. So it's like, oh, man. So both, bo- it's like the, the, the Browns and Odell Beckham Jr., they, it's, back, it's a back and forth. It's a back and forth thing. Back and forth thing. Odell trying to get over on them. They trying to get over on him. But bottom line, it just, it, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't a good match. And, and now, um, with that being said, uh, he, wow, it's a wrap. That's crazy. Then th- I never would have thought it would have ended like this. Never. Never, ever, ever. And again, you, you see, uh, the reason why, uh, why we talked about early with his name, that's why he couldn't say anything. He could not say a word. Because anything he says, it'll get twisted, it'll get turned. Like, even like the, the, the report came out yesterday. 
And of course, they said it was an anonymous person. They're like, oh, a Browns player said Odell Beckham Jr., his attitude is malcontent. And no name to it, though. But apparently somebody said that. So with, with Odell, he's in a tricky spot, man. He was in a very tricky spot. But now he's, he's, he's on waiver. So we'll see who ends up picking up Odell Beckham Jr. But just like he is when it comes to being a Cleveland Brown, I'm out.